Friends, uh, there seems to be an element of uh, confusion uh, in the Sri Lankan media and uh, in uh, public opinion uh, concerning uh, recent events uh, at the United Nations, uh, specifically uh, concerning the elections to the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva. These elections uh, did not take place in Geneva, so uh, there was no election in Geneva that was lost by us. Uh, the elections uh, to the Human Rights Council take place at the United Nations General Assembly in New York City uh, in the United States. Uh, and certainly we uh, suffered a setback there. Uh, what did happen in Geneva was uh, something else altogether. The Universal Periodic Review of the Human Rights Council in which uh, all uh, countries are reviewed uh, collectively by their peers. Uh, now, the UPR uh, experiment uh, took place on May 13th concerning Sri Lanka and uh, uh, culminated uh, on the 19th of May. And as the record shows, only a handful of uh, Western states were sharply critical of Sri Lanka. Uh, the overwhelming majority of those states uh, that uh, took the floor, uh, and there were 56 in number, though 70 had inscribed to speak, uh, the overwhelming majority uh, spoke very much in favour of Sri Lanka. Uh, they were very supportive. Uh, there was a very clear majority of support and sympathy uh, for Sri Lanka. There was also an intermediate group of uh, well-intentioned and constructive critics. Uh, so I, I think we should uh, clarify this confusion about uh, the election to the Human Rights Council which took place in New York, and the Universal Periodic Review, uh, which took place uh, in Geneva. Now, having suffered the setback of uh, the loss of membership, uh, it is possible that anti-Sri Lankan forces will seek to move a resolution or special session in Geneva, the Human Rights Council. But with or without uh, membership status, uh, we are quite... Uh, determined and convinced that we can defeat any such anti-Sri Lankan moves here uh, in the Human Rights Council in Geneva.